Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Ella. Today I'm going to be creating this spring makeup look for you. If you're interested in watching, then let's just jump right into it. So for skin prep, I have gone ahead and already put on this Ambrosile. Uh, this is their moisturizing cream. It can also be used as a mask and my skin has been a little bit dry over here and on my cheeks. And this has been great at helping with that. Next, going straight into foundation, I'm using the Chanel Les Beige. This is the Water Fresh, and I have the shade B20. I don't have a tan on right now, so this is perfect for that. I have been using this foundation nonstop. This is actually my second bottle, and I love it for spring. I absolutely love how fresh it makes my skin look, and it is... I would say light to medium coverage. So I put two pumps on my hand and then I use the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush just to break up the little particles of pigment. And I go ahead and start applying that everywhere. And as you can see, two pumps is uh, not that much. I mean, you could put two and a half or three, but I feel like as I layer my makeup, it gives me really nice coverage. And for springtime and for this makeup look in particular, I don't want to have too much coverage. I love that I have some of my skin, my texture, my imperfections poking through a little bit. I think that's what makes us human. And once this makeup look comes together, it looks really natural and nice. I'm going in afterwards with my Dior Backstage Concealer. I have the shade 2 Neutral. And I have not been able to put this concealer down. I think it just works so well with this Chanel product. And I love the coverage. I'm just putting it anywhere where I want to brighten up my skin a little bit, primarily on my T-zone. And what I like to do afterwards is go in with my Sephora 57 brush and I just pat it in before I fully blend it all out. And once it's nice and patted in exactly where I want, I will use a different brush to help merge the foundation and concealer together. And I'm going on my T-zone. Now that I have uh, patted in the concealer, I like to go in with a damp beauty sponge and really help merge the two products together as well as get off any of the excess on my skin, especially when my skin is feeling dry. I feel like less is more and the more product that I have trying to cover up that dryness, it's like the worse that the dryness looks. And I hope you can see how much product has come off on that beauty sponge. Now that that is all blended in, for the next step, I'm going to be using the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. I have the shade Intensity 1 right now, and you can see that I absolutely love the highlighter as well as the bronzer. And I'm using the Sephora 88 brush. This is the Pro Bronzer brush. I absolutely love this one. It is really soft, and it just helps blend in the product so beautifully. I get some on my brush and I kind of use the back of my hand to make sure that it has coated the brush very nicely and slowly just start patting it in to where I would like to give my face some bronze and color. You can see this product really looks very skin-like as well. I think it's like a makeup artist dream. It wears beautifully throughout the day and it's definitely buildable. There are other products, in my opinion, that are more beginner friendly because you do have to be a little bit more careful with this product. It does have a good amount of pigment. Nonetheless, I absolutely love it. 
Now I'm going to go on my jawline. For my nose contour, as well as a little bit on the lips, I like to use something that is much cooler. So I use the Westman Atelier. This is the Face Trace Contour Stick in the shade Biscuit. And I just go directly on my nose, primarily sticking to the tip and all around my lips using a clean brush this is the crease brush from real techniques like to pat it on my lips and as well as shape my nose contour and i also love to use this product if i want to contour my crease here because i do like to wear a lot of neutrals and brown shades on my crease and this kind of just helps set up a really nice base for me. Moving on to my cream blush. I have been absolutely loving this one with the powder blush combo I'm going to show you. This is the Westman Atelier blush in the shade Pop It. And look at how bright pink that looks. So actually what I like to do is apply some on the back of my hand. And then I'm just using this uh, fluffy Sephora brush. And I get the product all over there. This does have a really good amount of pigment on it too. And with a light hand, I like to start at the top of my cheekbone. I even apply some on the eyelids. And if you feel like you've applied a little bit too much, I either go back in with my foundation brush or the beauty sponge and just dab off some of that product. And a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Now that I'm done with all the liquid products, I'm going to set with powder. So for my under eyes, I absolutely love the Pat McGrath. This is the under eye blurring powder. I have the shade light. And if I wanna set my makeup very lightly, then I like to use a brush with this, where as if I want it to be a lot more brighter underneath my eyes, then I would use a powder puff. So first what I'm gonna do is go back with my concealer brush and make sure that there's no creasing underneath my eye. Then I'm gonna take some product and gently tap it underneath my eyes, as well as my eyelid. And for the rest of my face, if I'm feeling a little bit more oily, then I like to set with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. And if I'm feeling on the drier side, for some reason, I just like to set with the Airbrush Flawless Finish from Charlotte Tilbury, because I don't feel like this goes on as powdery and heavy as the Huda Beauty one does. And to set the rest of my face, I love to use a powder puff and I have the shade One Fair. I like to get a good amount of product coated on my powder puff and start setting where I tend to get oily the most, which is on my nose, on my T-zone. And then I lightly just like to set everywhere. Now we can move on to our powders. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Valentino bronzer. I believe this is the shade 00 bronze. And I don't think that I have been able to put this bronzer down since I've purchased it because it is so, so beautiful. And I'm just going to apply it everywhere where I applied my Tom Ford shade and illuminate to really help further warm up my face. I like to go on my eyelids. And afterwards, I sometimes even like to use this as eyeshadow for a very cohesive look. Next, for blush, I'm gonna be using the Valentino Eye to Cheek. This is in the shade two, and I absolutely love this blush. You guys have seen me use this before. And I'm using the Pro Blush 96 brush from Sephora. 
You can see how much I have, but I'm definitely gonna go with a light hand on this. This blush is super, super pigmented. And I feel like the shade just looks really nice on me. And I love the texture and the magic that Valentino Beauty created with this product. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I start off lightly and then just take a look, see how I'm feeling and if I want to build it up. I'm going to build it up just a little bit more. How beautiful is that? I hope that the camera does justice in absolutely how gorgeous this blush looks. Now moving on to our eyes and lips. I fill in my brows with the Dior Brow Pencil. I recently got my microblading removed. I used to have my brows microbladed on the ends here, and I don't have that arch as I used to, and I just like to fill it in a little bit more. I'm not sure what this shade is called. Oh, it's the number 032. And I primarily stick to doing the ends of my brows very lightly. And then I like to go over with the Dior Show Onset Brow in the shade 032 as well. I absolutely love this product for the brows. It is such a good match for me and I love that it doesn't make your brows feel like you have a lot of gel on them. It's very comfortable and easy to wear. Next for my eyeshadow, to provide a little bit more depth, I love to use the Chantecaille Mermaid Eye Matte in the shade Sylvie. Look at how beautiful that is. And I use my fingers to apply this product because it is so, so easy to work with. And it's definitely buildable. It doesn't crease. It lasts all day. I have nothing but good things to say about this product. It is so beautiful. Now, I like to do like an eyeliner situation above my eye. It just opens up my eyes. It looks so beautiful. I love the way that it makes me look. And I don't usually do it with an eyeliner, though sometimes I do. I like to do it with an eyeshadow. And the shade that works best for me, please do not be afraid when you see how, what a disaster this eyeshadow palette looks like. My daughter gets into it and plays with it. This is the Natasha Denona Camel Palette. And I use this shade here. Just apply some with a really thin brush like this. And I start at the end of my eye and kind of work my way in to give myself a very light eyeliner. And the reason why I love to use the Natasha Denona palette to do this is because of how pigmented her eyeshadow palettes are. They, it literally looks like you have eyeliner on and it lasts through the heat and just wears beautifully all day. You can see this eye compared to this one. It just looks a lot more opened. Now I'm gonna do the same thing here. And with very little, whatever is left on my brush, I like to go underneath my eye here just to give it a little bit more definition. And this definitely helps open up the eye as well. And I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I'll be right back. I've curled my eyelashes and I'm going to be using the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. Now that I've finished my mascara, moving on to the lips. I like to use the Nude Sticks Lip Liners. I have the shade Nude Truffle as well as Nude Beige. The Nude Truffle is much cooler and I like to use that to outline my lips. I actually posted this lip combo on my reels and a lot of you loved it. And I like to use the nude beige on the center. And then with my finger, I kind of blend and bring those two together. The reason why that I love to use a lip liner all over is because I just feel like my lip gloss, my lipstick wears a lot nicer throughout the day and it lasts longer. 
For the lip gloss, I'm using the shade 001 Pink from the Dior Lip Oil. I'm absolutely obsessed with this product. You can see that I am more than halfway through. And I apply this everywhere, throw it in my bag and reapply as needed throughout the day. It just gives such a nice shine it is so hydrating i absolutely love it now for the last step i'm going to use a highlighter and the highlighter that i love to use the most it is pretty much the only highlighter that i use it's part of the tom ford shade and illuminate and how i like to use this is i take a clean beauty sponge i kind of fold it like this and I go in and work it into the highlight. Then I take off kind of any excess on the back of my hand. And with a light hand, I work it on top of my cheekbones, on the tip of my nose, and anywhere where you want to highlight. I also love to use this in the corner of my eye with my finger just a tiny little bit and if you want to go on your brow bone you could do it there as well look how pretty that looks and it's not sticky i have to mention that i absolutely hate when you use products like this and then your hair kind of gets stuck all over them at this point my makeup look is all finished i do like to set my face if i know that i need to be keeping my makeup on for the most of most of the day and i don't want to spend so much time uh, touching it up and to set it I love to use the Charlotte Tilbury this is the setting spray and you can help dry it off with your hands and once it's about halfway dry I like to use the clean side of my beauty sponge and just kind of very lightly work the setting spray in so that is it you guys this is my finished favorite absolutely spring makeup look i hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making it for you please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me over on instagram if you haven't already and i will see you on the next one